We made it to part 10, the last video of my top 43 before the pre-parties and rehearsals. Uh, that's when I ranked these these songs, but yeah, we've had our last pre-party, but still before rehearsals. Anyways, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, go ahead and click the I on the screen for my 2018 Eurovision playlist. If you just want to see certain options, like a certain song, go ahead and click the description box below. You'll find a list of each of the parts and what songs are in each part, and then uh, you'll also see that there's timestamps in the description box for each video for where to go to get to a certain song. Anyways, uh, today we're going to be finishing it off with six songs. Those six songs are going to be Cyprus, Romania, Israel, Malta, Netherlands, and Sweden. So let's go ahead and let's hop into this with the last six of my top 43. We're going to start with the Netherlands. The song is called Outlaw Inum and it's by Waylon. Everybody's got a little I love to send Eurovision songs to friends and families with no context, especially if it's a song I think they're going to love. So I did that with this song and I sent it to my mother and she loved it. Uh, this is one that sounds like pure country rock and I can, I sent it to her because my mother, she's a country rock kind of girl. Uh, and listening to the song, it, it does sound like something I'd hear if I was traveling through the rural parts of the U.S., you know, on a road trip and just, you know, clicking the radios. Honestly, it's fantastic. It makes me want to go ahead, get a bottle of booze jump to the back of a pickup truck and scream sing along to it in front of a bonfire and you know that's what the song is for it's a good song and i enjoy it so this is my number 20. we're going to move on now to cyprus the song is called fuego and it's by eleni ferreira so like when i say fuego i have to fight the urge to say it like in the song like fuego i, I have to i have to fight the urge to do it and I imagine it gets annoying because I probably say the word fuego at least like six times in my average day. Yeah, anyways. Anyways, this is such a summer banger and I'm ready to take this to like, you know, every single party I go to. Grab a bananas, head to the dance club, and like, let's get on that floor and dance with some bananas, girl. Anyways, yeah, this, this song has some dumb lyrics like pelican fly, fly, fly. It's just pop song that's overproduced and it's dumb but at the same time it's really fun and I find myself wanting to move so much when I hear it that I can ignore bad lyrics I can ignore you know some of the things that make this kind of something you wouldn't actually like a lot Eleni's charisma keeps me interested along with the ethnic instrumental thing happening so that elevates the song from being just you know something I would listen to in the background and not really have an interest in and for me this is my number 18 this year Let's go ahead and hop on over to Romania. Now, the song is called Goodbye, and it's by the humans. So the vocals on this song from Christina are amazing. She sounds absolutely spectacular, and I'm a sucker for a rocky chick vocals. You know, the song has that, she's got that, and she's fantastic. My issues with the song is all in the lyrics and in the instrumentation. I feel like I'm listening to a Christian rock song that, like, your pastor would pay play for you because your parents told him that you cut yourself last week when you just, I don't know, the cat scratched you or something anyways um it just sounds so cliche it's typical and it's tired and like i just when i listen to these tired cliche lyrics i just have a a, a naturally bad reaction to them and i don't find myself interested in listening to it any further so that being said this is my number 40 song now we're going to go ahead and we are going to head on over to malta with the song taboo by christabel So real talk, has Malta ever given us like a bad vocalist for real, for real? I'm just asking because Christabel sounds fantastic. I just wish the lyrics that she was singing were better. The song has such cliche lyrics and like to really make it stand out strong. I really wish those lyrics weren't so basic. Uh, I did watch MESC and I did watch lyric videos for MESC and I think the biggest issue for me is because the lyric videos they were on screen so whenever I hear this song I, I instantly go to thinking about the lyrics so I can't really ignore them now I know the song is about depression and I'm always pro pop song with a darker edge to it especially if the song doesn't sound very dark so I do like dancey pop music that is about a darker topic 
Um, so I'm pro the topic, pro the way it's being presented. The other issue I'm having is I know the staging is going to be the same as it was in Malta, except for slightly different. I think that Christabel said that she's going to have one dancer because she's using four backing vocalists. So that's going to be a little different. Also, there's going to be no LED, so I don't have to look at the lyric words on the backdrop and see those take away from the darkness and the interesting things happening artistically with the staging. Anyways, all that being said, you know, good vocals, good production. However, something about this song is holding me back, and so it's only going to be my number 29. Let's go ahead and move on over to Sweden. The song is called Dan Off and the performer is Benjamin and Grosso. Just wanna da, da, dance you off. So don't you da, 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 wait up. Cause I just wanna feel the mood. Get with anyone but you and I'm in love. Oh, sleek, polished pop with high production values. Is there anyone that does that better than Sweden? This song is pure gloss. There isn't really any nutritional value here at all, but I'm a glutton for empty calories sometimes, and this song has empty calories that taste so good. I can't explain it, but there's something about the way that Benjamin performs it, the way the staging was done. Yes, I know people go, oh, you're just going crazy with the staging. Uh Uh-uh. I love the studio version of this song, too. I sing it all the time. I also really liked Good Loving, and I sing it to my dog when I pet her. I sing, gonna give you that good, good rubbing. That good rubbing, gonna give you that good, good rubbing. I just want to feel your fur again. She hates it, I think, possibly, but it gets her belly rubbed, so she may actually love it. Who knows, but this song is fantastic. I love it, and it is my number six. So, the last song we're going to be talking about this year is a song that I feel like a lot of people are talking about. I know it's currently the bookie's favorite to win, and I can see why. Anyways, uh, that song is going to be Toy by Netta, representing Israel. Let's go. I'm not your toy, not your toy. You stupid boy, stupid boy. I'll take you down, I'll make you watch for with my dolls on the mother my car. Okay, Netta is an absolute mad woman in the best way possible. Like, I just want to hang out with her. She seems like so much fun. And this song is so much fun. Number one, let's go ahead and take a quick moment. She's a big girl with a lot of fun in her style. I'm a big girl with a lot of fun in her my style. Let's say her style. My style, too. I like colors. I like flashy. I like accessories. I like makeup that's wild and fun. And she's got all that. Like, she's she's not. She's not one of my style icons. Now, moving away from that and back to the song itself. Like, the music is so so danceable. The chicken noises are really fun and a great way of conveying the sentiment of talking to a weak little chicken boy. Um, also, I think that they may be um, editing for a certain certain slang term we had uh, in this world referring to male that are kind of kind of douchey. Anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, also just the clucking is fun and it goes well with the dance. It's upbeat pop music with a message. It doesn't feel contrived at all or forced. And unlike some other songs that are upbeat pop songs with a message. And you know what? This is great. Love it. Fun entry. It is my number four. So yeah, I can see why it's favorite with the bookies. Anyways, um, we've reached the end of my top 43 before the pre-shows and before the rehearsals. It's been a ton of fun. It's been a ton of fun, guys. It's been a ton of fun, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rankings for part 10. Romania is in 40th place. Malta is 20. Netherlands is 20th, Cyprus is 18, Sweden is 6, and Israel is my number 4. Again, thanks so much for watching all 10 of these videos if you did, or just this one. Go ahead and check out the others. I'll have a link on the screen and in the description box as well. That's it for my top 43 before rehearsals and the pre-shows. I don't know. Thank you again for watching, and I'll post something later. Bye!